Hi, it's Karen from Stamping on the Back Porch. Welcome back to day number nine. This has just gone fast of our uh, Take a Crafty Break with me. Full of activities, perfect for all ages. So this is perfect for school breaks for kids, perfect for, for everyone. We're just using things that you might would probably have around the house. So nothing extra, no particular stamp sets. Today we're gonna be making kites. Look how cool that is. And then you can turn a kite into this kind of a design. And tulips. So you can see we're thinking spring. We aren't giving up. So how fun is this? And the reason I did this big card is this is really an easy. If you want to do something different, this is just a fun, bold card that will fit into a regular envelope. So we're going to start with all of this. So we will get started. Glad to have a bunch of you on already. Welcome again. Hope your day is going well. Okay, and so it says, what a treat. So that's wonderful, Flo says, thank you. Okay, we will bring the camera down and we will get started. First, we are going to do the tulips. And I think we'll actually start with this really big card because do you ever want to do anything you know, that's just kind of interesting. The other thing is this is really a nice, big, easy pieces of paper to work with if you're working with young kids. But it's also a fun card to get because you're just not expecting a card in here. So I know you're going to ask the measurements and I want to just show you here. Here are the measurements for those of you who care. Nine and a quarter by seven and three quarters put in half. Now I'm going to show you an easier, easier way. And this will work for... Any, you know, sometimes you get these extra envelopes that live at your house, I don't know, that are just an odd size. Maybe that doesn't happen to you, but this is how you can make any card size. So what I'm going to do is take this. Oh, and I know it's going to take a whole lot of this paper. So I'm just going to take my paper and score it in half. Uh, first, I'm, I'm going to, uh, so half of this would be four and a quarter because this is eight and a half inches. So I'm gonna go to four and a quarter, right there, and I'm going to score it. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't press hard enough, we better try that one more time. But this is a much easier way if you have something kind of unusual. So this will give me kind of the base of that. And I'm gonna see how long do I want it to be? Oh, you know what? I just want it to fit in here. So I'm gonna cut it right in here. Look how, how non-exact that is. You can use anything and you know, you, you kids can do this right away. <laughs> I said, I always just laugh about how kids will just go for something. You know, this is a one of a kind card, so it really doesn't even matter. <laughs> okay. And then on this one, let's see. I just want it to fit in here. So see, my size isn't just, real exacting and I'm gonna look at it oh yes good size okay so that is how you can determine what you're going to make now to make the, f the flower this is just the coolest so, so anyway I'll have my flower so we're gonna have just squares of paper and this time it this is a four inch square so and I just thought this would also be good uh, to start with so that it's easier to see on a larger square. Square. All I'm gonna do is corner to corner my uh, taco fold. Now watch this. Yep, this, this is all easy. This is Rachel, so that's what you like so far. Yeah, you know, and these are perfect things to have on hand, these little ideas. If you have kids visit, you know, or adults. I mean, and then see, this is eyeballing. You know, tulips, any flowers, they're all unique, one of a kind. Look at this. How cool is that? This is my tulip fold. Now, if you're getting an idea, I could cut this and turn this, you know, into all kinds of things. But how cool is this? See, this one is folded over more, but each flower is going to be unique. Then what I like to do is I like to glue a little bit of this and this to keep this up. But I don't glue in here because I like that it just kind of pops up a little. This is kind of a 
you know, it has a little texture to the card. And doing a big card like this is also easy because, of course, it's much easier to have a fatter strip of stem to put on here. So, yeah, it's an origami tulip. You know, a lot of this is origami. One of, uh, when I first did the explosion card, you know, I made up a story. So that's my original story that I made up. But I asked my son, who was like 11 at the time, how do you do this? I was trying to do one. And he looked, oh, mom, that's basic origami. And whip, 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 he did it through. And I said, well, I don't know if that helped me You're so fast. <laughs> but I thought, yes, it's basic origami. And it is just fun to have little, little tricks that you can do with that. Now, I also was going to do one really big. This is a six by six. And the reason I want to, oh, you know what, let's do this side. This will be fun. The reason I wanted to show this is for right now, you know, if you're doing, well, if you're doing posters for a school event or something too, but I was thinking about those of you that visit people and, you know, show something through the window or something. Wouldn't this be a, you know, you could take a poster board and put you know, just, you know, one, one of those things, if you have any of those around, you could make a big thing and then um, write happy birthday or miss, miss seeing you or, you know, thinking about you or anything like that to show through the window. So just a fun thing to have for any size. Oh, the taco reference just comes from the <laughs> explosion story. So that is it on a large size. And now we're going to do it on a smaller size. So I am showing this one was a four inch square. And now we're gonna use two inch squares. But keep in mind, we could do three inch squares, two and a half inch squares. You know, this isn't, this isn't anything precise. I'm just teaching an idea. And then you get to do whatever you want with it. Uh, writing an inspirational word on the inside before you fold the flower, that would be fun too. And then it could be a dropped, oh, Okay, here is Cindy's idea. Let me just see if I have another. Let's pretend I didn't do this. Okay, we're going to undo it. Isn't this amazing? We can do anything, right? If I didn't attach this and just left it like this, you could still fold it nicely. And it could be a, look at the whole thing could drop down. And then you could have your message inside. That's an awesome idea. I'd love to see someone do that. To see how we're just all working together. We're all just much better than one alone. That's why I just love them. Um, Community, I think that's a great idea. Roz is finally getting some me time. Oh, it's wonderful. So the grandkids aren't with you right now or something. You know, this is really just quite the, quite the deal. Okay, so I did one of these already this time. And look, I'm just using all varieties. I'm just looking in my scrap box. You know, any of these things that just use small amounts, uh, most of us have scrap boxes of paper. So I'm just going to be folding these. I'm getting a good fold as good in these and then I'm just going to figure out I'm just sort of guessing at the middle and just putting these up you know it's just good they can all be different okay and I'll press those and I already did one there so I'll do one more so these are two different simple little folds yes and if you have a punch for leaves or anything or you could also Freehand cut some leaves, you know, that would be easy. You can notice how we're doing the grass there. That's just a freehand. So, and this time we're going to do something a little different for the stem. Yeah, so use anything you have. That is just the point of this. Whatever you have on, on your things. And I'm just going to add just a tiny little bit. I don't know if I got any, got any there. There. On just that part. I imagine I could just press it much more and not use this, but you know, I'm always in a hurry. <laughs> I know it's time to relax, slow down, but you know, it is. <laughs> There's always ideas waiting, right? Okay, so here are my three flowers. And now this time for my grass, I decided to use another little thing from here. I'm deciding those are little flowers in the grass because we're all being, it's, you know, it, 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 it's all, uh, it, it's not realistic anyway. So I thought we'll just do this. And this is how I'm making the grass. I'm gonna put that. I'm just gonna put one layer. Ooh, I gotta leave the grass. I gotta do the stems first. Okay, and here's how I'm gonna do the stems. This time, I'm gonna use a ribbon. So I have this mint ribbon that goes with that. That's why I picked that paper. I'm gonna find the end here. 
Oh, good. You guys are liking that. Oh, Tim will be on again soon. He's just had a little break during this time. And then just while we were doing these crafty breaks, next week we go back to our regular schedule. So we'll do, oh, like Monday nights and Thursdays as usual. But I think the other four days, we're going to do something else. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, um, something like a card a day will help keep the blues away, you know, and we'll just do some at the same time. So let me know what you think of that idea. And we'll just do something simple with some little tip or trick with it. And now I'm doing this on a silicone mat. Well, did that even, no, it didn't even come out. Because I'll show you, anything left over will just stay on there. And I can just rub my hands right down the side there to get off any extra. I'm not gonna be too pokey about that either here too. So I'm gonna put that on. And then I'm gonna do another one. So I'm just doing this because then I don't have to worry about getting my paper all sticky or anything. I'll put one here, and then I'll put one here. <laughs> yeah, this is, you know, this is kind of um, a scrap box. Do you know, I don't know, we just end up collecting scraps. And now, you know, if all you have on hand is construction paper, use that too. This is really about using whatever you have and... Um, just having fun with this. And just think we get to do something thoughtful for others when, when we're done and we get the joy of making it first. And then I'm just gonna put these on and I'll just put these on with, you know, glue would work fine too. So I'm gonna put one up there. These are kind of crazy. I'm going to put this one down lower, I think is what I did, but it doesn't matter. I was just trying to make them all a little different. You know, planned randomness or something like that is just really hard to do, but <laughs> I didn't have room. You know, they could all be even if you went this way, or we could overlap them. There's a lot that we could do. And now I already put a little adhesive there. So I'm going to put this on the bottom. And then the bottom, I'm going to do this because of because of course it hasn't been perfectly. You're not gonna mow over the tulips. So see, you have all these kinds of different shapes. And then we're gonna put that on. So I find this is one of, uh, probably like the easiest origami flower to make. And it just comes in handy. for. You know, for so many things, and it's pretty on any, on any different size. Lavar said this is giving her idea for a birthday card now. So I said, plus it speaks spring, and you know we're all just looking forward to that. Okay, so this was the flower. So you know you can use this flower idea and whatever. Just be creative. I love that drop down idea. Like you really could do things. So, um, you know, take the idea and play with it. I am loving seeing the interaction over on the back porch stampers. It has been awesome. So now we're going to do another quick fold, quick fold, which is also really fun. So I thought these two are just really good ones to have on hand. <laughs> I, I, you know, I just love this kite shape. And I added this little girl at the bottom and keep dreaming. So I thought to totally fits now. But, you know, a kite is just perfect. And I'm going to do one first with a larger size. I believe I better measure what size this one is. Let's see. This is a three by three. And on here, um, on my card, I used a one and a half. But I just want to show it on a bigger one first. Again, a big banner with colorful kites on a sky. And you could draw some clouds. Just think of some a fun project that, that would be. Um, and then give some, or you know what else to hang in your window or outside. Just for people to enjoy when they walk by to see something that is springy is just a really fun thing now this one we're doing the same start to the fold so just a great fold here and then i'm going to open it and watch this i'm going to just fold this in along the fold and again, nothing here needs to be exact. You know, because if your kite is a homemade kite, it might not be so exact anyway, right? 
and look at that, we have a kite. Now what I did, what I forgot to do on here and what I would do here, I'm gonna do this and then open it again uh, so that you see the crossbows on the kite. And that, well, I don't even need to do the little one because I'll do it on the others. But then I took, let me see, I don't, I must have dropped my twine. But you see when I put the twine in, I'm just going to show you how I did that. I just attached the twine, just like that. So, so we'll do it with this ribbon. I attach this, and I put tape on that so that gets folded in. And then there is my twine coming out the end. You know, of course, it's skinnier than that. But how simple of this. Kites would make, you know, I mean, uh, great birthday cards, anything. It just really fits March. So this, I think you'll get a lot of use out of this. And so you could just see something out in front of the house with a bunch of big kites on it. So you could do these out of a 12 by 12. So just be creative. I think I, I cannot wait to see what you do with these. And an easy project to do, you know, if you're young or old. I mean, we just can do this together. Okay, so now, then the last one, we're going to turn this into, you know, this makes me think of a quilt, but it could be a stylish flower. It could be whatever, but it's some kind of pretty design. So now this time, I'm going to take, uh, so see, I put some of these out of, bigger cards too, but I think since I sh I'll do it larger again one time, just in case you want to see, because I'm going to show the two differences. Okay, so this time if I fold it and both work, now if I'm making the kite, I want to do it this way. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to fold these. You know, when I make several of these, it actually, it does give you time to kind of cut your paper right <laughs> start making them along with me. Okay, so now that is one way to do it, and you'll see the lines there. I did this the way on purpose, and I like the look of the lines. Now, if you don't like the look of the lines, here's the other way to do it. We love possibility. Okay, I'm going to go to the smaller one because I don't have a bigger, I don't have a big enough thing here. This is going to be the other way to do it. I can just, and I don't have a ruler handy, so I'm using what I have, and that's why the big one didn't work. You see that? It's going to be the back side, so I'm not going to see it. And now I'll just go up to the pencil line. And we'll do this one. Okay. Cindy, right? Ooh, I love that. Make a banner with the kites. Make them big and then put S-P-R-I-N-G, put spring and put them on, oh, I love that, that is perfect. What a great idea, make a banner to hang outside. Oh, that would, you know, people would just love seeing that coming by. You just take it in before it rains. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna make four going this way. And let's see, so I need two more going this way. So I will, I'm gonna, see, I can go ahead and do them. I need two going this way. The thing that's easy about this is you can get all this part ready and then I need one more going this way. Uh, yeah, I love that idea. So you guys, some great ideas here. And I will put this together. And this, I really appreciate all of you doing this along with us. And just a reminder, I have a free class tonight. Some people paid to actually get the products to make, so they're creating with me, but we're doing it right on, right in the back porch stampers at seven central tonight. So you are invited to come watch with us and see some more ideas. During the class, we just kind of take our time and chat and make classes. Okay, so. Now to do this, to create this, I'm going to start with two of these. Okay, I'm gonna put a little there and then a little here and I'm going to, I'm eyeballing. So, you know, doesn't need to be perfect. I'm gonna put one right there. 
I'm gonna open the next one. Well, I hope I'm helping keep you guys occupied during this time. One here. So this is how we're gonna space. And you know, if, I mean, if you really care, yes, you could do the angles and do all that. Um, my thing about card making in life is, you know, good enough is good enough. That's my motto. <laughs> because it's just more relaxing and, you know, just time efficient. You just get her, get it all done, right? So it's, it's whatever. <laughs> but you can do whatever you like. And then I'm gonna put these four going this way. I just wanna say something else here. If I cut more than these, you could even overlap them. I'm gonna show you this. I could be overlapping them like this, and then it actually really looks like a flower. So I'm just putting that in as another little tidbit because that makes a really pretty card. Does that make sense? Because I could still just keep, let me just see if I can show that a little better here. See, look how pretty this is. Then we'd want like eight of them. But I think that is really lovely too. So there's a, another little tip, but we're just going with the, the easy one for now. <laughs> oh, a table full of kites makes Rebecca want to run out and play around that. Yes. But you know, isn't that, if you, if you make a table full of kites, post a picture of it because that really just sounds lovely. <laughs> And of course, you can still go fly kites. You just have to find a deserted area. So, you know, you're not going <laughs> to be around people. But see, even this could be interesting. So um, this could remind me of a fat vintage tie, too. So we can do a lot of things with whatever we come up with, right? So are there any kids on here creating with us today? I know that um, some of you are sharing after the fact and... Um, doing some of these projects with grandkids. Could somebody remind me who it was that told me that they did, they were doing some of these with FaceTime? I was just talking with you, um, with their kids that are grandkids. And I thought, what a fun thing. So she taught them over Facebook and they created them together. That, that is a great thing to do during this time. And Kathy Ost, who is on here, she made up some of these, some of the kits on, what, on like the corner bookmarks and something and took them over to a women's shelter as little kits because, you know, they're, they're all stranded too and looking for things to do. So a lot of fun things that can be done with this. I said that was just so thoughtful. So look how fun this is. 